In September 2018, IOM launched its institutional framework for addressing gender-based violence in crisis. For an organization with such a vast operational footprint, this is an important step forward in addressing gender-based violence, or GBV, in a systematic manner. Let me explain why. GBV in, in times of stability is underreported. In crisis situations, it is even more difficult for a survivor to come forward and seek support because the risks of doing so are increased, including the risk of violent repercussions for reporting. Nevertheless, we know that gender-based violence occurs and threatens crisis-affected populations, particularly women and girls, everywhere IOM operates. Understanding the nature of GBV means that we cannot ignore it even if it is less visible than the other problems IOM tackles in the field. The framework therefore urges IOM staff to rapidly implement a series of strategic interventions to effectively mitigate risks of GBV, promote good programming and ensure IOM's activities do no harm from the onset of an emergency and through transition and recovery. Following on, from this consider, following on from this, considering that we assume GBV is occurring and threatening affected populations, our programming also needs to support survivors by facilitating access to life-saving services. We do this by advancing a survivor-centered approach, which respects a survivor's right to make decisions and empowers them to express their needs and preferences concerning the design of programs that assist them. We must be guided by this approach. Our overall vision is that crisis-affected populations live free from GBV. This is contingent on addressing gender inequality, which is at its root. Crises tend to increase pre-existing gender inequality as many protection systems and structures break down, leading to greater risk of exposure to GBV and entrenchment of discriminatory gender roles and norms. And if we are not careful, we might inadvertently reinforce this, our, this in our response. The framework emphasizes the need for an approach that considers the root causes of GBV and encourages staff to promote gender equality. Finally, the framework puts into practice IOM's commitments to address GBV within our role as a humanitarian organization. We cannot achieve our objective in crisis operations to promote, respect and protect the rights of crisis-affected populations without ensuring that the safety, dignity, well-being and equitable access to services for all crisis-affected persons, especially women and girls, are prioritized, integrated and coordinated across all our crisis operations. I urge you all to not only read the framework but also to implement it.